have never been so over it in my life. It is so hot out here. I can I can barely take it today. I don't know about this. <laughs> I might need to go ahead and put it in that flight attendant application sooner than I thought. Girl, this is too much. Way too much. Because as I think about it, flight attendants do get to work in a nice air conditioned plane. You don't have to worry about working in the elements. So that really might be the move for me. I think I think I should just bite the bullet and go ahead and do it. And then I put makeup on today for work because my co-worker was suggesting that we go out tonight afterwards. But there's no way. Ain't no way. I'm going to be super sweaty. I'm already super sweaty. There's just no way this is going to work out. It's just not going to work out. I'm not going to make it out tonight. I'm already tired. Do you know how, how the heat feels when you open the oven to like check the food and you look in and you know how that heat hits you? That's what this feels like. This feels like I'm just standing in an oven. Super pretty. I don't know what they having up there, but Lord, I sure hope when it's time you let me in. I need to be a part of this. That's what I was just saying, the same thing. We got to make it to heaven. We got to make it to heaven. We got to be a part of this. Man. The rain just stopped and the sky is just so pretty. We just hope that it remains like this for the rest of the night. Ugh, I do not want a rainy Saturday night if I gotta be at work on a Saturday night. So as the rain stopped, we brought out the frogs. We got frogs everywhere out here on the ramp. Yep. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday. It's about 1.30, I'm assuming. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 1.41 p.m. Okay. It's just like 10 minutes later than I assumed. I'm just, I'm really, really getting a late start as per usual on my first off day. I don't have anything planned today, much less anything special. I'm super tired. It's been a rough long week um we definitely definitely got to open this box and put this bike together today for sure so primarily that's what we're going to be doing i'm starving like marvin even though i got a leftover taco from yesterday i could eat i'll just eat that a little later but right now i want a biscuit and the only place that i know that still has biscuits is bojangle so we're going to swing by be jizzle real quick and get old breakfast biscuits and then come back here and tackle some of this that i got going on in here honey it is a hot mess in my apartment but i got to straighten up before we can open anything in that box because that box is going to be full of uh, probably foam papers plastic this that and that's going to drive me nuts to open that and have that shit all over the floor on top of the shit i already got down so i got to clean up first before i can bust open a box so let me go ahead and eat my breakfast i'm gonna go pick it up I'm going to take you with me, and we'll be back to open that and watch some TV. I saw that Dave Chappelle has something new listed to Netflix, so we'll watch that for now while we unbox the bike. I want to give it a quick test out, see what the bike is talking about. We're going to review the bike. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and go. I switched over to this bag yesterday. This is one of my Luxie Lux pieces, my Monstery Louis Vuitton backpack. I absolutely love it. Um, she is turning 
darker. Her patina is um, on patina right now. Really nice, really cute. So this is what we're carrying. All right, we're just pulling up to the Bojangles right now. Ooh, they don't have much of a line, which is great. So we're gonna whip it on in there, get this biscuit. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm supposed to be sharing with you girls today. Well, I did get a new bag though. Another company sent over a beautiful, beautiful caviar leather bag. Now this is my first black caviar leather Chanel bag, but like my maybe my sixth in this flat bag style, but the caviar pebbled leather, if you will, is best for more frequent use because like the lamb skin it is so soft it is so easy to be be scratched and damaged so that's why people order the chanel flat bags in the caviar leather because they're easier to take care of but it's gorge y'all it comes with all the thrills and feels i'll show you to you when we get back to the house so so nice it came this week earlier in the week i want to say it was like monday Super nice with gold hardware. I'll show it to you. I'm just gonna wait patiently. Hopefully, the biscuits are fresh. I cannot stand getting a biscuit, and my biscuit is like a brick. Yup. Yeah, let me get the Cajun filet biscuit combo with bow rounds with a sweet tea. Fine, like That's it. Thank you. I'm not gonna complain about my little weight. I get it. Everybody is kind of short staffed these days. But girl, tell me why they don't they're not using that fountain machine thing. They got two liters out on the count. They're pouring drinks out of two liters. That's crazy. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. I get it. Because we want our soda, honey. Run me my soda. But the sweet tea here be so good. Okay. And they're one of the few places that puts a slice of lemon in your sweet tea. I love that. Girl, they legit got two liter bottles out on the counter pouring from them. Thank you. I didn't get the drink yet. Thank you. You too. Ooh, I feel like I just super overslept. She told me to have a good night. Not a good afternoon, ladies. Afternoon. Don't do me like that. Make me feel bad for sleeping in. But I definitely do not feel bad about it because I'm liable to go back to bed when I get to the house. But I'm not because we got things to do. I definitely have to put this bike together. Point. All right, so I'm in here watching Fear Thy Roommate because that's what I do. Fear Thy Neighbor and Fear Thy Roommate on Sundays and just generally on the weekend. This is crazy. Um, this is about some black young people living together. It's just crazy. When I tell you they are bumping heads, they are bumping heads. But I'm going to go ahead and pull the bike over. We're going to open up this box and see what kind of task this is going to be. I don't think it's going to be that bad. I think it's primarily put together. 
fixed. Because today is the day. Let's just pull this chair. Friends between the roommates may not be as they seem. This chair is relatively light. I just don't want to scratch my floors. Um, hopefully we got enough room. I'm going to grab some scissors. I want to see. How hard or how easy this is gonna be. But I got a good feeling about this. I don't think it's gonna be that hard. Scissors and a screwdriver. I don't know what it's gonna take because you know the instructions are still in the box. I don't know. Does it say this side up here? Box as we go, so cleanup won't be so bad. I can't stand to have stuff everywhere when I'm doing stuff like this. The bottom base will set this to the side. Inside, so it does come with all of the tools. Okay, so we got basic bolts. Okay, this isn't bad. What are exercise bikes? All right, so this is the exercise computer. Girl, this is nice. Now the link will be down below in the description box and it does come with batteries. And make sure you 
take everything out before you throw it away. We got more pieces here. Clean up as we go. This is the seat. Now, if you've never rode an exercise bike or experienced a spin class, these seats, girl, these are crotch killers. So, crotch is going to be on fire. So, I would suggest getting a cushiony seat cover eventually. But the seat is really nice, though. It's real sound. Like some leatherette material. That's nice. Very nice. Has a spring. Okay. Very nice. I'm impressed. I am impressed. So far. Moving. So you can move it about the home easily because it does have a wheel. I like to start with the easier pieces because it makes me feel like I'm making progress and I'm less inclined to give up on it. If I'm actually doing something or seeing progress, if that makes sense. Just keep so nice. So now we have the bolts in. I just got to go back with that little wrench thing to make sure that they're extra tight. But now we have the floor pieces put on. All right, this is the foot pedal. It just screws right in. All right, so this is how it looks once the foot pedal is on. As you can see here, you have the adjustable little straps to make sure that your feet are securely into the pedals. Real nice and neat. Just like the spin bikes almost that you would see in spin class. Then you're gonna secure the pedal on with this little nut on this side. Okay, so this is what we're looking like so far. This took just about 12, 13 minutes, super easy. Next, we're gonna install the handlebars and the electronic monitor and we are Girl, just about done. All right, let's go ahead and install the seat. While we do the seat and finish up, we're gonna watch Dave Chappelle's new stand-up on Netflix. But this is one of those things too, right here, I feel like putting the seat on, it's gonna, one, it's gonna be one of those things that you're gonna take it off probably to readjust it to where you need it. I've had this is like my third exercise bike in my life. I kind of know how this goes from here. So yeah, that will go there so you can adjust the seat.
for the handlebars area. You may have to adjust this part too. that I do have my seat up a little higher than I need it to be. And I'm referencing my old uh, bike. So I do need to lower my seat though because I won't be able to reach the pedal. All right, we're coming together. Coming together. So now we have that piece on. the digital display okay it's pretty cool so now we're gonna go ahead and screw this down okay so I now have it all assembled and it absolutely looks great I love it I love the size of it so nice and so sturdy girl look at that this digital display is everything I do love that and you do have to plug it up to the to the bike. It has a core and it tracks your miles and all of that good stuff. So your distance or what have you and your speeds. Yeah, it's super cute. I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and get on it and we're gonna test it out. And we're gonna try it out. All right, it's very, very, very smooth. The resistance crank, girl. Ooh, it works like a dream. This is surprisingly super smooth. I love it. Really nice. All right, so this is definitely an affordable option if you're looking for an indoor, in-home spin bike. Very sound, easy to put together. Very smooth. Girl. I can see we get down on this. Yes. Hit my moves. Okay. Ooh. I got it a little too tight. There we go. I'm feeling it all in my thigh pods. Yes. Get it right. Get it tight. Highly recommend. So you can order these directly from their website or on Amazon, of course. So I'll have the Amazon link down below should you be interested. But that's my tool. Definitely the one to have. Oh, I need to practice more, honey. I need to get on here a little more because it's been at least two or three weeks since I've been on my, my bike. Well, ooh, I like this one, though. This one's very comfor comfortable to my pro form. Yep, this has a little more bells and whistles, but this one, this one's definitely the one. Your distance, your calories, you have an odometer. This literally does everything. You have a place for your iPad, your phone to watch some YouTube instructors. It's nice. Very nice. All right. I like it. So be sure to check out your Suda for an affordable spin bike. Girl, that was nice. All right, guys. So now I'm showered, ready for bed, and my cute pink robe. I think this is from Dress Lily, but they have these very same robes on my favorite website. I'll have it linked down below. I absolutely love it. It's like a thin cottony lace material. Super cute. Super cute. Super comfy. Got me a movie snack in the bed. Well, we're not gonna watch a movie. It's 10, 18. I am tired, but I know I got enough strength to watch P-Valley. I just got me some Sara Lee pound cake, two, two thin slices. These are thin slices, okay? Thin slices. These are diet portions. This is a diet portion, okay? Don't judge me. This is a diet portion with a little whipped cream. Cause I deserve and Mama D's voice. I deserve. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna watch season two, episode six. 
I just want to cut up with Uncle Clifford. Uncle Clifford, just one weekend. Hey. Oh Good morning, guys. It is a Monday morning. It's about 10.32. I'm just waking up. Um, I got so much to do today as far as like the videos go. I got some try-ons that I have to do that I kind of mm, a little past too, girl. But y'all know I just be busy. I be tired when I get off work or when I'm getting ready for work. Girl, the last thing I'm thinking about is trying on some stuff and recording it. But I know that I'm supposed to be doing those things. So today I'm going to try to knock out a lot of those things. And right now... I'm about to get up and make me an iced coffee, throw on something and go get some breakfast because I don't, I really want to cook some grits and bacon, but I don't want to mess my kitchen up because then that'll be more work to add to the list and I ain't trying to do nothing extra at all today. So I'm going to go pick up some food and come on back and start um, organizing these clothes for the videos. So I'm going to show you some things that I got too though that's going to be in the videos that I think that is just so cute. I know that we got a few deliveries coming today because I ordered some cute stuff from Amazon. Two bodysuits are coming today, like short sleeve or no, what do you say? Tank top bodysuits. And then Wednesday, I got a bag and shoes coming. So yeah, we got quite a few things coming. The uh, Amazon Prime Day sale is, is coming here soon um there's quite a few there are quite a few things that i want to order during the prime day sale but i'm pretty sure i won't <laughs> i got so many gadgets already i really don't need any more but girl if you didn't get um a ring or a blink doorbell you definitely should those are going to be on sale and maybe a few of the blink indoor um uh, monitoring cameras those are really good because you know i have both the ring doorbell and I have a blink that's the brand by Amazon camera um, over my French patio style doors in my kitchen living room area I love those so I can see what's going on um, as it pertains to that door and I have my Amazon Alexa devices so if you don't have those those really come in handy I do love it because she controls my lights and all of that because you don't know my home does not have overhead lights in in the rooms other than the bathrooms and the kitchen those are the only place I have overhead lights there are no overhead lights as you see in any of my rooms so I have to have Alexa so it comes in handy. So when I'm walking in the house at night when it's pitch dark, I can either cut my lights on before I come in the house via the uh, the Alexa app, or I could just have her to do it as soon as I walk in. So it just works out perfectly. So I'll have some of my most used and favorite gadgets linked down below, just in case you just want them. I encourage them, because it just works out. It's kind of like having a smart home. I absolutely love it. But I'm going to go ahead and get up and just throw something on because I'm just going to pick up some breakfast. I wanted to go to Hardee's, but I think they're done with breakfast right now. The one by my house. I think they promptly stop at 1030. But you think they just go on all day being that that's all you're good for is breakfast. Nobody messes with you other than for your breakfast. But whatever the case is, I'll probably end up going to Bojangles again for my biscuit. Those biscuits do be jumping. I'm just gonna wet my hair and re-slick it back up because it's doing the most right now. And I didn't, I don't be sleeping in my scarf like I'm supposed to. So it won't be so bad put my hair back together. But I'm probably gonna wear this ponytail one more week. And then I got to get back into my wig reviews. Girl, I got a pile of wig boxes under my vanity just piled up. And I know one of the deliveries today is a wig review it's a wig that, well a wig for review but it's a braided wig and i can't wait to show you this one this one is going to be super cute i'm so excited for this one girl i'm almost tempted to go wash this gel out and get my hair ready for this wig so i can wear it all week but we'll see how this goes we'll see
So we just got a delivery and I just transferred my drink over to my to-go cup. So we might run the Target, but I don't know. I probably shouldn't be driving, but I do got to go get something to eat. I just made a mistake and poured a little Bailey's over into my cup too. Girl, this is hitting hard. But let's go ahead and see what's in this package out here because it was the little FedEx girl that did it today who put my package out there in the box. So... Mm. All right, we got two down in here. All right, this kind of feels like a, a wig box. That's what I'm assuming this is. Another wig. And I just put the scissors up. Yeah, this is a wig. But I wasn't expecting this one. I know that another one was coming, but this one looks like it's from Tinashe here. I do love a good Tinashe piece. But girl, my braided wig. I'm waiting on Chris to show up. Okay, 16 inches. Let's see what it's talking about. Okay, old curly piece. Okay, this is the move though. I love me a good curly unit. All right. Lace closure wig. All right, her plucking is nice too though. Mm -hmm. All right, it ain't funky. It's cute. So I don't know girl. We might have to go and wash this out and get into our wigs. But I really hate getting my good wig sweaty. I really do. Because y'all know I have to wear them to work too. So I might just keep this ponytail up just a little bit longer. Then I'll get back into my units. But this one's cute. I might save this one to wear to go see Corey Hopel. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Because I want to go see him on the... 22nd, I do believe, which is a Sunday. Because he here, he's here that whole weekend. And I love his crazy stuff. I love his stand-up. All right, all the goodies, all the cute stuff. But we'll get into it. We will get into this unit, girl. We will get into it. Tanache hair. Super cute. So I'll put this in the to-do list pile of stuff. Okay, so I need to go ahead and throw something on, but this is aggravating me. But why, why my living room starting to look like a mini gym, though? I got two bikes sitting in here. That I, I got to do something about that. I'm probably going to end up pulling one into the beauty room, but my closet room, but ugh. I don't even feel like doing all of that. That's going to now further clutter up my room. But speaking of that closet room, let me show you the bag. Even though I still have to make the dedicated videos for these bags, those will probably be going up sometime this week. I'm going to sit down when I have my makeup on and just film those. Um, as you know, those are like short videos five or six minutes long to review a bag, but I'm gonna show it to you now. So it's like you've seen it here first, but it's cute. It's just a Chanel flat bag. I think I mentioned it yesterday to you, but. Mm. I need to refill my cup. <laughs> All right, so here is the box. All the thrills and feels. So let's go ahead and open it course it comes with is nice big beautiful sturdy dust bag okay really nice and yeah here's the bag 
so nice and this is that caviar leather some describes it as being pebbled leather really nice this is the more durable of the chanel bags because it's less inclined to get scratched up so nice so i now have both the lambskin and the caviar i love this i really do i don't know at first why i did not like this but now i get it now i get it this is the option to go for but yeah it comes well equipped but you'll see all of this in the dedicated video i'm just gonna take a day and just record all this stuff and get it up everybody thinks i'm obsessed with louis vuitton and i might be just a little bit but this is ultimately my favorite style handbag i absolutely love these diamond got me this one last year for my birthday i've yet to carry it because of its beautiful mauve color but this one's up next for rotation soon though i love this bag i just love these style bags and of the style this purple one here from handbag resort is my smallest one and i absolutely love it it is so cute and it does come with a long strap to it i love this purple it is so beautiful i love 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 it but then my i don't know i think my cognac one is my favorite of this one girl i don't know who am i to say i can't say i can't but this one this color though oh this is my this is my spirit color right here this color is everything. This bag is so bossy to me. Love, love, love it. Girl, everything, everything. I can come in here sometimes and just look at these bags and be like, oh, I haven't carried you yet. I want to carry you. But like, I'm waiting on the right outfit. Just waiting on something. I just got to stop waiting. I'm forever waiting, 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 waiting. Story of my life wait 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 hurry up and wait all right um i'm gonna go ahead and start getting dressed because the later it gets i know i ain't gonna go nowhere if i wait any longer we'll be right here in this house vlogging it out all day <laughs> All right, guys, I still have not left the apartment, and I'm on my second iced coffee with Bailey's in it. But me and my friend have decided that we're going to go um, to dinner in a couple of hours. I always look at my wrist. Like I got my, I'm so used to always having it on my watch um, in a few hours to possibly Cheddar's. I love Cheddar's. Oh. I haven't been there in a while. So that's why I think I really want to go is just go to Cheddar's for some old steak and shrimp, some old broccoli casserole, mashed potatoes, an old cocktail. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. Um, I did get in the, the two tops I was telling you about. They seem thin. I'm going to go ahead and look at these and see how I like them because if I like them, I might get a few more colors because these are perfect for the summertime. I love a good bodysuit. Mm. This is the brand. Like I said, they're on Amazon. I'll have the links to them down below. But they gave me Zara vibes when I saw them. I was like, that looks like the tank top that I bought from Zara that I wore bowling a couple of weeks ago. So that's one reason why I like them. And I love these with my distressed denim looks. Oh, no, it's not that thin. It's nice. I mean, it's thin, but not super thin, you know? So that's how it looks. It has the V cut in the front. Super cute. Super cute. Yeah. I don't know. I might wear one of these this evening. That'd be cute. How my legs look? I'm gonna have to bump over them a bit. Uh, so I got the pink and I got the khaki. It comes in a whole bunch of colors. I got a size large. And these were under 20 bucks each. So yeah, large looks good. It looks like it'll be a good fit. I don't wanna be wanting my bodysuits to be too tight 
because you know how that little part be killing you down in the crotch. I, girl, I ain't got time for that. But I like the look of them. I love the sleek, slimline look that it gives. And they just tuck so beautifully in the pants. So, yeah, I think I might wear one of these today. We'll see. We shall see, girl. We shall see. But it's cute, cute. Yeah. So just so you get an idea what the large looks like. That's a large. And I got both of them in a large. Amazon be having some cute stuff. I'm looking at a specific pair of shorts. I want some cute dressy looking shorts. That's really what I want. I might wear the pink. Save this pretty khaki for later. For something else. But I love this color though. I might wear the pink one today. The pink is, is given something i just don't know what but yeah i want some like pleated flat front dressy style shorts to wear with the blazers and stuff but they got some cute ones that are like elastic waist that are kind of culotte style you know y'all remember culottes they kind of look like a dress kind of look like shorts but not like a skirt though Ooh, i can't stand a skirt Scorts just need to be burned and thrown away. I don't like that. Especially the wrap front. Ooh, I can't. Ooh, I don't like those. Um, But yeah, I'm just going to get some rest. And I'm going to get up, put on some moisturizer, and um, put my makeup on. And then we'll be out the door. But I'm going to get me a little more rest and watch some TV. It's just so hard for me to move about on my off days, but... We're definitely going to get out and go have us a dinner experience. See, so that'll be the highlight of my days off. I did get a lot done. I didn't get a lot done as far as content creating. Because sometimes, girl, I, I don't really be caring about this stuff. For real, for real. But I like vlogging, though. It's pretty cool. But as long as y'all don't mind me sitting in the house all the time. Now, you start requesting me to get out and do the most, then we probably have the problem because y'all already know my life. But yeah, I'm looking forward to dinner, though. I'm really looking forward to this because I am starving. The only thing I've had is um, coffee and I had two boiled eggs. That's it. Just out of the... I always buy the pre, pre boiled eggs in the pack from Walmart. So that's it. Yeah, some salt and pepper. That's it. But girl, last night, P Valley was everything. It was given. I'm probably going to watch that again while I lay here and decide what I'm going to wear. I probably should go look for the shorts that I'm thinking about. I think I know where they are. Let me go get them. I just took them out the pack, so they're wrinkly. But they are really cute. Like khakis. They kind of have the pleated look in the front that I love. I just got to get them ironed. So when I iron them up and get the outfit on, you'll get the idea. All right, USPS just delivered, girl, my re-up of my dossier fragrances. I got floral marshmallow. Girl, this one is inspired by Don't Be Shy. I can't wait to try that one out. Oh, I can't wait. And then, of course, my all-time favorite. I had to get another one of my Ambery Saffron. This is my absolute all-time favorite scent. But today, we're going to go with Floral Marshmallow. I absolutely love these. Such a great value for the size. And, girl, they actually smell spot on. So, definitely, definitely give these a shot. And so the links and discount code will be in the description box. So don't skip over it.
here are the shorts. I think they're cute. I love the fit. I was thinking when I was ironing them, they was going to be too thin with the shirt being so light that you'd see like the lines in the back. But you, you really don't. So I like it. I think they're, I think they're cute. I got these shorts from Zoffel, which is a brand of Dress Lily Shein, that whole network of China-based clothing sites. All right, so we are now in the city. I'm going to Cheddar's and luckily for us, even though it's like rush hour traffic, it is not very packed at all. So it looks like we can probably get in there and get a seat quickly. I am so ready to eat. You guys have no idea. Like I said, I've had nothing but two big cups of iced coffee and Bailey's and two boiled eggs. So I'm about to eat up something. <laughs> I'm about to thoroughly enjoy this meal, girl. And there is Cheddar's right over here to the right. I've gone in here before. Y'all have seen this place on my channel. Girl, I am ready to eat this food, go back home, take my shower, and watch P Valley for the second time because it was good, good last night. All right, we're parking in the VIP section. Yes, for the up close and personal parking. All right, so I got the menu. I think I know what I want already, though. I know I'm going to do a peach bellini and some steak and shrimp of some sorts. Y'all, this honey butter. Oh my God, girl, it's so good. I just be wanting to lick the plate. Ah, so good. My drink. This is the watermelon vaquerita. The vaquerita is so pretty. Oh my god, y'all. This is so delicious. Let me slow down. Because I really have been drinking all day. I guess so my food came out. Girl, it looks so good. I cannot wait for this. Thank you so much. All right, the steak is cooked perfect. Mm. So good. Yeah, I killed it.
All right, guys, food was so, so good. I'm probably not going to eat anything else. Well, I take that back. I will eat something else. I already know. But not like a full meal. I'll probably have more Sara Lee cake and whipped cream when I go to bed when I'm watching TV because I know I'm going to watch Pea Valley again, girl. That was so good. That it was. I didn't care for last week's, but this one was this one redeemed itself this one was so good and like i said i always um see something that i missed the first time so i can't wait to watch it again oh girl so good if you're not into p valley girl i don't know what you wait no you need to start the series but start from season one though go ahead and get yourself all the way cut up go ahead and binge watch you gotta get caught up before you start it though get caught up but it is good but girl, that is it for me. I'm about to go home and do some not so fun things. Um, start some laundry, get my uniforms clean for work. And that's about it. Take my shower, shave the legs, you know, that type of thing. And yeah, that's it. But girl, I will see you in my next video. And there'll definitely be another video. Make sure you're subscribed, okay? Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads okay okay i wish i had like um a filming schedule but girl i try to get y'all up two a week honey two a week or more and then all my little incidentals my little incidental videos in between i try to put all those up call those my housekeeping videos okay because y'all know i have to review things from time to time you know how it goes but I'll see you in my next video and there'll definitely be another video. Bye.